First off, before we start this video, let's address the elephant in the room. What the heck is that mouse? It's like two of them overlapping? Hey everyone, it's Robilds. Welcome back to another video. As you can see, I'm doing a face cam today and I'm actually really excited for this video. I decided to create my own challenge and in this challenge, I have to close my eyes for certain parts of it. So I thought it'd be a great time to take out the camera. So for this challenge, I'm going to have four different colors and materials and I'm gonna place, let's see. I kind of want it to the side. Do one two, three, four. I have to go to the colors. And as you can see, we have a small variety of colors to choose from. And um, some of them are, you know, hot pink and no one wants that. So for this challenge, I'm going to close my eyes, randomly spin my mouse and land on a color. Whatever color that is, is going to go on the wall. So let's say that I landed on Tawny. Then I'm going to go to material and I'm gonna scroll through the materials with my eyes closed and I'm gonna land on one. So planks long and I'm gonna go with that. That's gonna be one color that I have to use on a plot and I'm gonna do four of those. I'm nervous. <laughs> I don't want hot pink. I don't want a neon color. I don't want this really red and like no no one wants this. No one. I guess I'm just gonna start. All right I'm gonna close my eyes and pick a color. I'm not peeking. I'm gonna let go of the mouse before I look. Mm, do some like squiggles. Okay. No. <laughs> Of course, it's a bright yellow. Off to a great start. Gonna go to the material. I'm gonna scroll off and down first and then I'm gonna like do whatever. Okay, that feels good. Let go. Hearing bone wood. This is terrible. On to the next one. I really hope I get a neutral tone. I don't want all neon colors. Mulberry, a purple. Lovely. Materials. Uh, let's move. That feels good. Let go. Vertical stripes. You can't really see the stripes, so that's not bad, but it's still purple and bright yellow so far. It's got like a hint of red. It's kind of brown, so that's not terrible. Please don't get the rust. Down, side to side, and then I'm gonna go up and down again. Diagonal bordered marble. How do you even make something out of these colors? This is terrible. Please get white. I really want white. Bright red, love that for me. Watch me get the polka dots. Come on, Bloxburg. Come on, please, nothing terrible. Oh my gosh. We have a somewhat normal texture. I mean, it's tile on a wall, but it looks like brick, so that's that's good. So you're allowed to use other colors and materials, but these are your main ones. So like I can use white, but it can't be like a main wall or something. So I could use white as like a fence or I could use it as a pillow or something, but these colors have to be obvious in the build. This is gonna be interesting. All right, so I will be back in, <laughs> I might never come back. <laughs> I'm going to try and do a sketch and hopefully I can make something out of this. Yeah, so that sketch, I couldn't think of anything. <laughs> I'm just going to wing it and hope for the best. So because the red tile kind of looks like brick, I think I'm going to try and use that as much as possible. The roof, I think I'm going to make this like brown with like a red tint. And then I don't know what I'm gonna do with the other two colors. Time to start building. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this build was like an absolute mess. I don't know how many times I had to redo all of my walls and stuff, but I figured out that I would build a fire station. And so I thought I wanted something kind of big, but then I realized like it might look nicer if it was smaller. So I deleted some more walls. I had some windows, I used a reference photo. So that helped me a lot too. And as you can see, I definitely used the tile as brick and I wanted to add some more textures to hopefully make it look more normal. So I added like planks everywhere and I actually put it along the pillars because there's some sort of like design that you can do with pillars like this. I do not know what it's called, but I did that and it turned out okay. All right, so when it came to the yellow and purple, I decided to make fire trucks and there's actually yellow fire trucks, so that worked out for me. But the only thing is the material on this yellow was wood, so it's kind of ironic how I'm making a wooden fire truck. And then to incorporate purple, I just used it as rope, but I do use it later on. I still have to do the purple, which I just mentioned, and I have no idea what to do. I put a little bit of purple, as you guys saw, in the fire truck if you can even call it a fire truck. I guess I could look at fencing. 
hey, wait a second. There's usually like a spot that goes to the back. At least the fire station near me has like a bunch in the back. You know what, to make it nice, let's just add a planter. We've got a clonable fire truck. We're just gonna have some fire trucks ready to go. We'll have one over here. Purple fencing, love that for us. So I have the red obviously, and I have the red brown. The edges with like the weird detailing that I did, that actually is not bad, but the roof, you can obviously tell there's something wrong with the roof. We've got purple as a fence, because I don't know where else to put it, as well as in the fire truck. The yellow, also in the so-called fire truck. You can also tell that I cannot create vehicles in Bloxburg. It is the hardest thing to do in my opinion. I don't know how some people do it. So I made a box car, you know, like those cars that you see children draw. Oh, I guess I should add some more windows. Uneven windows, love that. Hey, that adds a little something. So here it is. It's, um, it's definitely something. I'm sure there's something else I could have created out of this, but this was really the only thing I could come up with. I was able to get away with the yellow. The yellow wasn't terrible, but it's also a wooden fire truck. It's a challenge. It's not going to be perfect. And this is obviously nothing close to perfect. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys liked this. I challenge you guys to do the color and material Bloxburg challenge. And remember you have to do four colors. If you do the challenge, make sure to send me them through Instagram or Twitter. I just would love to see what you guys can create. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you do, and I will see you guys in my next video.